This video is sponsored by keysfan.com. Right now, they have exceptional software super deal going on their website, offering Microsoft Windows 10 and 11 Pro operating systems. And of course, I can't forget on Office as well for extremely low prices. For example, when you are buying a product, make sure that you use the code JD50 for additional 50% off your purchase. As you can see, with this code, you can get Windows 10 Pro for only $7.59. Thank you once again, Keysfan, for sponsoring this video. And right now, let's go straight to the topic. Windows 11, or any Windows really, comes with some settings enabled or disabled by default, which are quite annoying or you most likely don't need at all. So in this video, I will show you which settings you should change straight away. And these settings will hopefully have positive impact on how you use and interact with Windows operating system. Make sure that you watch till the end for the full effect. First, we have File Explorer hack. So when you open up File Explorer and it shows home page and you don't find this quite useful, you can click on the three dots on the top right of the File Explorer and then navigate to the options. In the options, make sure that you are in the general tab and then locate the option called Open File Explorer 2. It should be at the top, click on it and instead of home, select this PC. At the bottom, select OK. And now when you open up File Explorer once again, you should see this PC page instead of home. Next, we have the taskbar widgets hack. If you are like me and don't use widgets on Windows, you can go to the task manager and see that widgets application still uses RAM even if you are not using it. In this example, we can clearly see that the widgets application uses 12.7 megabytes of RAM, but it's still not enabled in the taskbar. As you can see at the bottom left, there is no icon for the widgets. So to fix that, we are going to uninstall one application to get rid of widgets for good. So open up CMD or terminal with admin. You can go to right click the start menu. Then we have the terminal and admin. Click on that, click yes here. And now I'm going to copy the code that I got from the web. But don't worry, I will link it in video description as well. So make sure that you right now go to the video description and then copy the code that is in there. And I will just copy it right here in my notepad and then paste it into the Windows terminal using the keyboard shortcut Control plus V. So right now we have the command right here in the command line and press enter. So now we have the question in the Windows terminal. Do you agree to all the source agreements terms? Then we are going to press Y and press enter. So once you got the message successfully uninstalled, you can go right now to the taskbar settings. And here under the taskbar items, you shouldn't see widgets anymore. So clearly we have the three options, but before there were only four. So with the widgets included. And to get that feature back, just go to the Microsoft Store and search for Windows Web Experience Pack. Install it and you should be good to go. And speaking of taskbar features, Windows 11 comes with the start menu and the icons aligned to the center. So if you don't like that, right click on the taskbar and select taskbar settings. And then navigate to the taskbar behavior options at the bottom. Click on that and here make sure that you change the taskbar alignment option. So this first one from the center to the left. And if you are already in the taskbar settings, scroll up to the taskbar items. Yes, the first option here and here turn on or turn off buttons which you use or don't use. Next, we have decluttering the start menu. So in Windows 11 22H2, which is an upcoming major update for Windows, you can now create folders in start menu. And to create one, just simply drag and drop one pinned application on top of the another one. Now you can rename the folder. For example, here I will just rename it social media. And if you want to, you can also add more applications to it following the same process. And stay with me here because this is not all. If you go to Windows settings, navigate to the personalization and then start menu options. Here you can choose from three options, more pins, 
default or more recommendations. So if you want more apps or folders, pick more pins or the other way around. And now the performance trick. If you clean installed Windows 11, that probably means that you have this option turned on by default and it may hurt the performance. So to get your performance back, click on the start menu and search for Windows Defender. Then in Windows Defender app, navigate to the device security tab. Here, click on core isolation details, link painted in blue, so this one, and here you should see memory integrity setting. If you have this on and you have performance issues, I recommend that you turn this setting off. However, at the end of the day, this is still security setting. So make sure that you have performance issues in the first place, and if you don't, leave it on. At this point in the video, if you are enjoying the content, subscribing to the channel would be beautiful. Next, I'm going to show you how to fix annoying notifications. So in the window settings, navigate to the system. So the first one right here, then navigate to the notifications option. So it should be the third option from the top to the bottom. And now turn off notifications for every single app you don't want to see notifications from. So for example, settings and OneDrive right here. And at the bottom, you also have additional notification settings. So here I recommend that you turn all of three settings to off. And the last tip for today are startup applications. So if your boot time is slow, then you want to reduce the number of startup applications. And to do that, go to the Windows settings. First of all, navigate to the app section and at the bottom, you should see startup options. So click on that and here, turn off every single application that you don't want to use. Hopefully your startup time will be a lot shorter now. And with that said, thank you for watching till the end. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, subscribing to the channel will absolutely make my day. Don't forget on the like button as well. And you can always buy me a coffee on coffee.com. Link in video description. Have an amazing rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.